Hi, I'm Miss Teresa Richardson and I'm a consultant at Imperial Healthcare, Charing Cross Hospital and the Western Eye. And I've been there for seven years. Well, when I was about three years old, I used to read this book called Milly Molly Mandy and there used to be a hospital in there, a doll's hospital. And I got obsessed with having my own doll's hospital and that's what I did. I had my own doll's hospital. And the funniest thing is, is that I used to spend a lot of time mending the the doll's eyes or the teddy bear's eyes. And my dad told me this and I'd completely forgot about it. So it's really bizarre that afterwards I became an eye surgeon. Well, I didn't choose my specialty. My specialty chose me. I, Every single doctor, well, most doctors always say they're going to be a brain surgeon. Of course, I was going to be a, a neurosurgeon. And then I was at a dinner party and the Dean of Moorfields was sitting next to me, um, happened to be uh, the father of uh, one of my colleagues at medical school. And he said, are you, what are you going to do? And I said, I'm going to be a neurosurgeon. He said, no, you are not going to be a neurosurgeon. <laughs> he said, you know, it's not a life for you. You want to be an eye surgeon. And I'm so grateful to him that I met him and became an eye surgeon because it's the best job. My job is so incredibly interesting and diverse because through the eyes, you can find out so much about a person's health. And I find that fascinating. I enjoy every moment of my job. I, I look forward to going to work in the morning. And I also love teaching. I love teaching my trainees, not just the knowledge that I've get garnered over the years, but also cataract surgery is so challenging. And it's great to be able to pass on my skills to a new generation of doctors. So the, the job is just fantastic. I, if I had my time again, I might come back as an opera singer, but I'd also be an eye surgeon at the same time. And the reason an opera singer is that I can't sing. I think my patients like the fact that I'm available for them. Um, you know, I, I respond to them, they'll text me, it could be the weekend, I could be on holiday, and I will always respond and look after them because it's my duty of care to do that. So I think that's what they like about me. Um, be thorough, be kind, and always follow through and think about your patients first.